Once a rising star on Twitch, Bruce Drop Em Off was the talk of the town, with a whopping over 1 million subscribers captivating audiences left and right. But fast forward just 6 months, the picture drastically changed. From thousands hanging on his every word, he's now battling to pull in even 1,000 viewers an hour. Bruce Drop Em Off's journey on Twitch kicked off in 2016, quickly gathering a loyal following through his engaging IRLs and NBA streams. By 2020, when he pivoted to just chatting, his popularity skyrocketed, attracting thousands of viewers. He dedicated a staggering 2,139 hours to streaming in 2022 alone, reaching 1 million followers on Twitch. The peak of his Twitch career came when he joined the acclaimed One True King Org, home to streaming giants like Asmongold, S-Fan, and Mizkif. OTK, celebrated for his content, even bagged the Best Content Organization Award at the 2022 Streamer Award. However, the wind of fortune began to shift for Bruce later that year, troubling accusations of homophobic and racist behavior. I've been in the lab, don't worry, I've still been in the lab to try to figure out how you can be racist to white people. Where's the child's support? Still been in the lab. But the breaking point came on January 24th, 2023. Bruce decided to part ways with OTK, a move that resonated positively with his fan base. Yet this exit was married by tension, particularly with Ms. Kiff, an OTK co-founder. Bruce revealed receiving unsettling texts from Miss Kiff. I like that. And I'll call you out on that in front of everybody says my you won't text my phone while God I'm screaming in front of everybody. Niggas. You weird as f period. It's no drama. It's just, it's just weird energy because I left and uh, you know, it's, it's hey, like that. I was more than enough of a friend to even come on your stream and stick my neck out for your wife. When you even, when I knew some of my viewers never forgave you, but you know what? I'm such a good person. So so my Hoover hat. I'm such a good Pizza person. Shit. I see the good in people and I wear my heart on my sleeve just like my mama and you took advantage of that. This marked a critical turn in Bruce Dropping Mall's career, setting the stage for his eventual downfall. Now, the decline of Bruce's streaming career began to accelerate in early 2023. Just days after leaving OTK, his alternate Twitch account faced a ban over alleged racist remarks, but he attempted to dodge his ban by streaming on his main account. Bruce found himself in the deeper trouble as Twitch labeled this move as ban evasion and banned that account too. His return to Twitch on February 27th after a month's absence was anything but calm. He stirred up fresh controversy right off the bat by displaying a provocative sign and a box of crackers during his live stream. Oh wait, I forgot something. I want y'all to read this loud and clear for me leading to his third Twitch ban. This situation deteriorated further a few months later during a live stream with American rapper DDG. Nigga, you just got in a fashion pre-era 2018 with a stylist, nigga, a gay one at that. What? Stop talking to me, oh. nigga. Which resulted in his fourth and ultimately final Twitch ban, permanently ousting him from the platform. Bruce's controversial shriek continued even after a switch to kick. He unleashed a verbal attack against several American social media personalities in the hip hop duo Island Boys, marked by more homophobic comments. The Island Boys know what they are, chap. And I don't know what the fuck is going on in the world. Why niggas is even entertaining them gay ass niggas? Like, them niggas are fucking gay. Like, and there's nothing wrong with being like, it, it's y'all know, bro. Like, it's nothing. Y'all know where I come from, where I stand, bro. But come on, bro. Them niggas are fucking, they need to fucking firing squad. Now, now, now. The situation took a turn for the worse. When a user leaked screenshots of Bruce's private messages, these messages contained offensive remarks against well-known figures like Tyson Nat, rapper Lil Yachty, and others, further tarnishing his reputation. His derogatory language and the public fallout with Tyson Nat led to a significant backlash. To my mother, I want you to tell me what have I done to you for you to talk to me in that type of way and to gossip to your mods, bro. You should be going to therapy. That shit not cool. I'ma treat this as if it's a anybody would do this to me. And I don't want to be your friend no more. I don't want to do shit with you no more. I don't want to be associated with you no more. I don't want, I don't give a f what you got going on. Marking a pivotal moment in his rapid descent from his streaming career. Many viewers have wondered what happened to him after his online drama. Claiming he had a dramatic fall off from 30k subs on Twitch to hardly pulling 1k within his first hour on Kick. But he now still streams on Kick, however, and is watching anime with his viewers and is currently steered away from any drama. Bruce Dropimoff's journey is a classic tale of how quickly things can flip in the streaming world. One day you're a hero, and the next you can become the villain. 